How's it going everyone? This is Cloud Chief, and in today's video I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about Emperox from Ryzen Jima. For anyone who might not be aware, Emperox is an NPC that is in Ryzen Jima that you do need to complete Rhapsody Missions of Vanadil to be able to access the area where Emperox is. When you do and you talk to the goblin, you have to trade some beads initially and you will then be able to deposit merit points. Essentially this is a way to get rid of excess merit points and put them towards something else. You can get things like an Arise scroll, a scroll of meteor, heck they've even recently made it so you can actually now get pulse weapons so that you, way you can get them and use them to upgrade ambuscade weapons. The only thing is it costs 25,000 merit points to be able to get that. There are other items you can get as well but you also have to do some things but they're pretty easy. You just have to trade some other items. You can see a list here of what items you can trade to get access to other items you can purchase with merit points. The thing that I want to get in and talking about with Emperix is actually a change that they recently made. So I always liked the idea of taking merits and putting them towards something that you can get out of it. The thing that I didn't like is that I always had to go out to Ryzen Jima to be able to deposit the merits. The other thing is there were still things that I might want to use the merits for. Like it's possible I might want to change what merited weapon skill I'm using because I have you know, five points and three different weapon skills, but no, I want to start using another one. So now I got to pull points out and then, you know, use up my merit points to get the new thing. Or if I needed to use merits for high tier battles, I don't want to be, you know, sitting at like 10 merit points and then I end up seeing a shout I want to join that's doing a high tier battle. And it's like, oh, I want to join, but I don't have any points. I'm only going to be able to do one run. They're not going to want you to join the party anyway, then. And because of all these things, that was the inherent problem with Emperex. The nice thing is, in the last update, they made a change where you can actually now go and talk to the goblin. You can trade 100 beads to receive her gift, and it gives you a 72-hour buff that allows you for any merit points that would be going over the cap automatically get deposited to her for the duration of the buff. She also has a ring you can buy for 500 beads that allows you to use the ring and you can use it three times to get the effect. Now you're much better off always going to the goblin and paying the 100 beads to get the effect. That's a better use of your beads so you're not wasting them. However, I do like having the ring in case you happen to be out doing something XPing for a long period of time. You happen not be able to, you know, go back out to Ryzen Jima to renew the buff because it wears. Okay, I can just pop the ring. So that's definitely a nice bonus to have. And since they've implemented this, I've gotten so many more merit points because I don't have to stop. It's definitely nice to be able to go out and do a CP party and I'm just constantly getting merits dumped in. It's not like, oh guys, you know, hold on, let's pause the party for a second after, you know, 15 minutes of being a CP party. I want to go dump my merits. It was inefficient and no one was really going to do that. But because of this new buff that they finally added, you don't have to worry about it. As long as you have the buff up, your merits are just going to automatically get deposited in. And yeah, you're making good points. So this is a great addition. If you're not doing it already, especially with the uh, CP and XP campaign going on, you should definitely make sure you have this buff so that way you're getting those points deposited in because if you're having the buff always up, before you know it, you'll be able to get a pulse weapon. All you'll have to do is just trade some other items if you haven't done it already just so you can have access to buy it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value out of it. And as always, may you have success in all you do.